So, Sean Huang has been promoted to be the Senior Parliamentary Secretary. For those of you who don't know who Sean Huang is, you should go look up Wikipedia. But Sean Huang is the MP of Zhong GRC and as an MP, he gets a yearly allowance of $192,000. And now, with this promotion, he will get an additional $570,000 on top of the $192,000 he will get for being an MP. Now, does anyone know what a senior parliamentary secretary does? And on top of uh, the promotion for Sean Huang, another MP in Jerome GRC has also been promoted. Madam Rahayu Mazam, she was a parliamentary secretary and very recently with the swearing in of uh, Prime Minister Lawrence Wong's uh, uh, new government, she has been promoted to be the Minister of State. As a Minister of State, she will be earning $770,000 on top of the $192,000 that she will be getting as an MP. Does anyone know what Madam Rahayu did when she was in the when she was the parliamentary secretary? Um, I certainly don't know what a parliamentary secretary does or what a senior parliamentary secretary does or what a minister of state does. My question is for a country that is as small as Singapore, do we need so many political appointees? Because these are all drains on the taxpayers' monies. When so many people are suffering, when people in Jurong GRC, a number of them that we have spoken to, are going hungry or they are skipping meals, some, we see some older woman picking up cardboards just to make ends meet or to have some extra income. While all this is happening, should we draw so much money to pay all these political appointees when we do not know how they add value to the government of Prime Minister Lawrence Wong? These are very serious questions, especially considering the times that we are in. We believe that we need a small government that is effective, that can take care of Singapore. We don't want a bloated government. What do you think? Let me know. I am Ravi Philamon, the Secretary General of Red Dot United. Talk to you again at another time soon. Bye.